Hi kids, welcome to another week of Air Academy TV. I hope you have been listening. We've just been having fun. and But most importantly, we've been learning a scripture and we've been learning from the word of God. And that's what's most important. I'm so glad that you joined us today. So today we have an amazing story. I think all the stories from the Bible are amazing. And this story comes from, get your Bibles out kids. Genesis chapter 6, verses 9 through 22. And God instructs Noah. We're going to be talking about Noah today. And I know all of you guys know that amazing worship song that we sing about the rainbow and about the promise of God after everything that had happened. And so we're going to be talking about this Bible story of Noah. Amen. The memory verse that you're going to learn this week is found in Psalms 31, 14. And it says this. But I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. And this week, we're going to be talking about how God has a plan for our life. God has a plan for our life, and we can trust and we can trust and obey that God has a plan for our life. Amen. So we're going to be talking about Noah and how God gave Noah instructions. There was a lot of things going on in that world during Noah's time. And you know what? There was one man, which his name was Noah, and God asked him to do something. He asked him to build an ark. During all this time, everybody was like thinking that he was crazy because during this time, he was building an ark. He was preparing for something. No one believed him because God had told Noah that it was going to rain and no one believed him because it hadn't rained for a long time in that country. But guess what? Noah, no matter what was happening, no matter what was going on, obeyed what God said, trusted what God said and did what God said. And that's really important, boys and girls, that we always obey and trust what God says, no matter what else is happening, no matter what anybody is saying, we always obey and trust God. Amen. And so today's story comes from the Bible in Genesis 6, chapter, uh, chapter 6, verses 9 through 22. And this is what the, the Bible says. Um, to, Noah lived in a time when people didn't obey God. They didn't obey his word. And they did anything they wanted, and they did not care what God had to say about it. They did whatever they wanted. But Noah was a man who obeyed God. He loved God. When we love God, we obey him. When we love God, it doesn't matter what people say. It doesn't matter what your friends say. It doesn't matter what anybody says. When we love God, we obey him always. Amen. He loved God and he did what God asked him to do. And that was to build an ark. God decided he wanted to start over and he was going to flood the earth. God wanted to save Noah and his family. So he asked him to build an ark. Noah had never built an ark before. You know what? Sometimes God asks us to do something that we probably have never done. But guess what? He helps us because he has a plan for our life. And so, but he trusted God. Noah trusted God and, and did exactly what God commanded him to do. Because Noah trusted God, his family was saved. Um, God has a plan for each each one of us, for you, for your, your brother, your sister, your mom, your dad, God has a great plan for your life. He wants you to listen to his word and listen to his word, the Bible. And he wants you to make sure that you trust and you obey him. Noah's life teaches us that we can trust and obey God no matter what's happening around us, no matter what people are saying, no matter what people are doing, we can trust and obey God and it is amazing when we trust and obey God what God does for our life because he has a plan for you boys and girls he has a great plan he loves you so much and he died on the cross for you he has great plans for your life amen so today we're going to talk about uh, this memory verse which is found in Psalms 31 4 and it says this but I trust in you Lord I say you are my God you know what? It's so important, boys and girls, that you trust in God, that you say he's your God. That's why you obey what he says. You obey what your parents ask you to do. You obey what uh, uh, your teachers ask you to do. You know, it's so important for you to be obedient. And you know what? No matter what's happening in the world, we know that we can trust God, that we can 
um, we know that he has a plan for our life. Amen. So again, the memory verse is found in Psalms 31, 14, and it says, but I, I trust in you, Lord. I say you are my God. You know what, boys and girls, right there where you're sitting, you can say, I trust in you, God. I trust in you, Lord. You are my God. Say that with me. I trust you, Lord. You are my God. And say that every single day. When you wake up in the morning and maybe you didn't wake up uh, on the wrong side of the bed and you're like not having a good morning, you could wake up and say, I trust you, Lord. You are my God. Amen. So I have a game for you this week. It's a little fun game as well. Uh, we're going to see who can be a sword master today. And you're going to need Cheerios. Everybody has Cheerios, Cheerios at their house. And you're going to need a stir, a coffee stirrer. And you're going to put 10 Cheerios on the table. Make sure they're not broken. 10 Cheerios. And you're going to try to see how much you could scoop up so that you could do a sword with the little stir in one minute. See how much you can do it. I'm going to try it to see if I could do it. It's not that easy how it sounds, but let's try. Oh, yeah, you can't use. <laughs> you might want to get a wooden stir stick because the plastic one is not, is not helping. Oh, there's one. Woo. There's two. Gosh, it's not that easy, guys, but you can do it. Make sure you play with your siblings. See who's the best sword master. You're making a sword with your Cheerios, and then you can eat them. Make sure the table's clean. You can eat them after they're done. A C? Oh, oh! <laughs> you get it. That's how you do it, okay? <laughs> That's how you play. Make sure you play with your siblings and see who's the sword master. And you guys could get little a prizes to see who the sword master is the best, who slays it the best. Amen. Yay! Let me recap the memory verse for this week. So important that you guys memorize the memory verses every week. You know why? Because the word is has power and the word helps you trust and helps you have peace and helps you have joy. You make sure you're learning the memory verse. So today's recap of the of the memory verse is found in Psalms 31:4 and you repeat after me, okay? Psalms 31:14. But I trust in you, Lord, I say, you are my God. Psalms 31, 14. You remember that, kids, that you put your trust in the Lord and you say he's your God. Until next week, I hope to see you next week. Mm -hmm.